I never answer to no man, I still go, go. Welcome back to Solving the Focus Problem. I'm Will, this is Steve, and here are the top five things I've been paying attention to this week on X and all around Elon Musk's companies. Did you follow these two? If not, here's my quick summary. Number five, humans officially become cyborgs. This week we were introduced to Neuralink's Patient One. Don't you call me a mindless philosopher, you overweight glob of grease. No, this awesome guy is Noland Arbor, and as he goes by in his X bio, a Neuronaut. This week we saw a Neuralink live stream on X, and we heard he's been recovering well, playing chess, running many tests, and playing the huge complex game of Civilization VI, and also that for Halloween this year he plans to dress up as Professor X. Not just because he's in a wheelchair, but because he is also telekinetic. Then we also met Noland again on stage in a fantastic talk from an open day at Neuralink. Remember this day in history when we saw the first patient of Neuralink. Looking back, it could be as iconic as when the computer or smartphones were invented. And obviously, as tests and iterations continue to progress on this type of Neuralink, and initial users who've lost the use of their limbs gain back function, Elon then released that curing blindness will be the next big thing to tackle. What an incredible time to be alive. I'll leave the links to both of these Neuralink talks with Noland down below. And be sure to follow him on X, where he's just posted for the first time using only his brain. Number four, how many Starship launches this year? As we already covered last week, we saw the incredible SpaceX Starship make huge progress with its Test Flight 3. But I'm now wondering, how many launches do you think we'll see this year? Apparently SpaceX have applied for nine launch licenses to the FAA, and I've seen this dotted around the space nerd internet that Starship will launch six to nine times this year. Lol, six to nine, Elon's favorite number. But we're already about to be in April. We've had one test flight this year, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So there's nine months left of the year. Do we really think there'll be six to nine more launches? I'm sure SpaceX can do it. We've all seen how fast they love to iterate and move. I'm just not sure the FAA will approve the licenses in between that quick. The FAA have usually been the limiting factor, holding humanity up from reaching the stars. And we know the FAA is a government agency and the Biden admin will try to hold up Elon Musk in any idiotic way possible. Come on, man. So here's me praying for six to nine more launches this year and also praying that the FAA and the government see that we are all humans on this spinning wet rock and the biggest opportunity for adventure out among the stars awaits. We should all be on the same team to get there as soon as possible. So let's flip and go. Do you think we'll see six to nine more Starship launches this year? Go, go. Number three, from four wheels to two legs. The robots are coming. Are you ready? Did you see this new robot by Figure One, powered by OpenAI and funded by Microsoft, Nvidia, Bezos, and these large companies? Just watch this quick video and ask yourself, can you see a future version of one of these in your home one day? Hey, Figure One, what do you see right now? I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. Great, can I have something to eat? Sure thing. Great. Can you explain why you did what you just did while you pick up this trash? On it. So I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. Great. So based on the scene right now, where do you think the dishes in front of you go next? The dishes on the table, like that plate and cup, are likely to go into the drying rack next. Great, can you put them there? Of course. All right, so how do you think you did? I, I think I did pretty well. The apple found its new owner, the trash is gone, and the tableware is right where it belongs. I agree. Thanks, figure one. You're welcome. If there's anything else you need help with, just let me know. 
The fact it can talk to you whilst doing tasks, I know it sounds simple, but we've not seen much of this before. And the stutter in its speech, because it's the only uh, edible item, is, um, I'm not sure. I know it's to make it seem more human-like, but what's it gonna do, fart next? Excuse me. Anyway, I love to see the AI robot race really hotting up. I just hope these companies are being as careful as possible designing them so that we can control them in the future. Or otherwise it's, you know, Pew, 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 pew. I'll leave a link to this full video of the robot down below. Number two, Tesla gives a taste. Have you kept up to date with the self-driving revolution? Tesla just released via over-the-air update version 12.3 of their full self-driving and it's apparently the most human-like by far. Anyone who overlooks the value and importance of full self-driving, I'd like to ask you this question. What are three of the most valuable and precious things in this life? I'd say safety, time and energy. These are all things self-driving will save us. These updates Tesla are releasing now to cars already on the road are becoming safer than humans driving, never get tired or distracted, will save countless lives and soon it will seem crazy for us to want to drive ourselves when we have a way safer and easier option. Time. Us humans are creative beings, and being stuck operating a car is a waste of our giant potential. It's said self-driving will free up around 70 billion hours of driving time annually in the United States alone. And energy, imagine all the amazingly productive things humans could do with all that extra time and energy. So anyway, what I'm trying to get at is that yes, full self-driving will be fantastic for humanity. And yes, I also understand there are a lot of concerns that it will put lots of people out of work, but humans have always adapted to new technologies. What happened to horse and carts when automobiles came around. People adapted. And Elon just tweeted this, quote, all US cars that are capable of FSD will be enabled for a one month trial this week, end quote, which is fantastic for people to try this amazing tech if they've never done it before. What do you think to full self-driving? Have you done it? Would you give it a try? Number one, when life gives you lemons, point out their idiocy. This week we saw CNN's NPC man baby Don Lemon attempting to play gotcha with Elon Musk. Using classic lamestream media techniques, in Don's first ever interview of his new show on X, and Elon wasn't having any of it. If you can't be civil and have a normal conversation like humans without constantly trying to dig for headlines and rudely catch someone out, then Elon won't waste his time on you. Elon announced after the interview that Don Lemon's show contract with X is cancelled. Don is still free to post on X like any other person. Free speech, of course, must prevail. But a partnership on X with a toxic mainstream media style presenter like Don is not what the X platform wants or needs. X is the future. It's real. For real, logical, truth-seeking people, mainstream media is dying. This type of fake, lying journalism for clicks is circling the toilet bowl. There's no need to watch this disgraceful interview. I would just take this golden nugget of good news from Elon. Almost all of our advertisers are coming back to platform. So it's a very short list of advertisers who are not coming back to the platform. Our advertising revenue is rising rapidly and our subscription revenue is rising rapidly and I feel very optimistic about the future of the X platform. That's all for my top five stories this week. If you liked it, please do like and subscribe or follow to stay up to date. I do this every Thursday, sweating a lot. Yes, that's a toilet roll. And finally, I like to end these top fives with something wholesome I found on X this week. That's all for your top five video this week. Maybe share this with someone who'd like to know more about what's going on in the world, around Elon Musk's companies, around the X platform, or drop a like and comment below to help stick it to the lamestream media by supporting truth-seeking, exciting, and hopefully a tad more humorous, independent journalism. I'm Will, this has been Solving the Focus Problem, and I'll catch you in the next one. Never answered a no, man, I still go, go, go.